basically during this past two weeks we've been fielding a new uh, bridge system that we've been given uh, called the improved ribbon bridge replacing our old uh, ribbon bridge that we had prior to this. All right, we have our CB trucks, which are common bridge transporters, which allow us to carry the bays and the ramps uh, down here to our lake site. Uh, from there, we have a shore crew and a boat crew. Uh, the crews out on the water are actually going to take the bridge bays and the ramps once the shore crew deploys them into the water and actually hook those together so that we have a ferry that we can move vehicles across the lake. Uh, this bridging system is a bit wider, so it uh, gives us more capability in terms of the amount of vehicles that we can actually ferry or cross with. It also gives us an increased, increased load capacity uh, that we can take almost anything that the Army has uh, across these uh, ribbon bridges. Uh, we've had about 20 out here this week, uh, actually out here on the lake site conducting the training. We've had maintenance guys back at our armory, uh, but, with, but with what we have out here, we have enough to operate three boats, uh, with, which is what you need to do a ferrying operation, two to actually construct the bridge, and then one is a safety boat. This, this is one of the few times that we've actually got to get out here on the lake and actually put this stuff together, so it's cool for them to be able to get out here and actually do their job. This is a good, uh, good bridge unit to have or a good asset to have for the state in case of flooding or any situation where a bridge may go out around the state, we would actually be able to bring one of these flow bridges out and construct a temporary bridge to still support whatever area in the state that, that they would need that until they could get a fixed bridge put in place.